now uh, till now uh, we uh, in the last class we saw uh, id equation of an uh, long channel device so as we uh, as we move into deep sub micron technology then uh, there are uh, several short channel effects which uh, come into play so we'll uh, discuss few of them today okay so what is uh, sub micron deep sub micron and sub micron is so if you see a deep sub micron uh, starts for somewhere here that is uh, from uh, any devices where channel length is below uh, 300 nanometers know uh, you call it as a deep uh, sub micron okay uh, so uh, all our 180 nanometer technology and uh, things like that we can call it as a uh, deep sub micron uh, and 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 say uh, below uh, 100 nanometer you can uh, call all these as uh, ultra deep sub micron so so this in this area uh, we are we are working uh, presently ultra sub and deep sub micron so there are uh, certain short channel effects uh, which we will see so these are some of the short channel effects which we will see uh, threshold voltage reduction mobility degradation velocity saturation channel modulation uh, sub threshold and hot uh, uh, electron effects like uh, like vt uh, roll off okay this is what uh, somebody observed like for a long channel device uh, you have a source and a an, uh, drain this is n region so this is p so there will be a depletion uh, region formed right here so there will be a depletion region formed here so uh, so if it is a long channel so this depletion uh, which is formed here okay which will be uh, negligible as compared to the channel length here so there will be no depletion here okay so uh, so it doesn't really affect but for a short channel effect so if you see this depletion uh, which is formed by the uh, NP and and this is also an NP so there will be a depletion layer so that can cause a depletion in the entire uh, channel region itself okay that will be that will be so we initially if you uh, and uh, try to recall how we defined uh, vt Th we need we wanted to create a depletion layer and then pull the electrons now uh, that portion uh, of that work which we needed to do by applying a gate voltage uh, is being done by the source and drain uh, end regions automatically right so that results in uh, reduction of uh, vt okay so uh, if you see the as and when the devices are getting shrunk okay so it will uh, reduce vt okay because they are coming close so you have to uh, accordingly be uh, an, uh, so this is nothing to do with an uh, uh, what as designer what we can do is if, if this is going to reduce the vt and for some specific reason uh, we require uh, vt to be full then uh, we can use a higher length uh, no, uh, devices out here okay uh, similarly this is known as drain induced barrier uh, lo uh, lowering in which when we give an uh, higher potential to the drain um, for an n mos so same thing can have uh, happen in p mos so we are just uh, describing the phenomena in n mos when we give a supply voltage in drain so this is n and this is p right so this becomes an a depletion layer will be formed so this depletion layer uh, no, okay, uh, helps us in reducing the VT because initially we were applying gate voltage to make a depletion and then call for electrons here, right? So that work is being done by the potential which is applied in the uh, drain. So these are the two, uh, no, uh, no, the first one is known as the VT roll off and the second one is known as drain induced barrier lowering okay so there is um, the, the exact uh, uh, equations for this uh, and, uh, and and the exact uh, uh, analytical approach will be dealt in the PMMD course uh, here we just uh, need to understand the uh, basic things okay uh, so without getting too much into physics in this course right okay uh, another thing which happens is a uh, mobility uh, degradation uh, like uh, till for a uh, large uh, length devices the vertical effect uh, vertical field does not uh, uh, really matter but for short channel devices even the vertical uh, field uh, uh, starts affecting the <coughs> electron uh, which is being uh, moved from the uh, source and the drain uh, from uh, between the source and the drain the electrons so, okay this this vertical uh, we didn't uh, if you see here there is a vertical field also right so that vertical field uh, affects the mobility decreases the uh, um, uh, 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 mobility so if you higher vgs you give uh, the mobility degrades and uh, for that because that vertical uh, field affects the mobility so this is an uh, empirical formula uh, empirical formula means through experimental results uh, we fit the curve here so uh, mu effective is slightly lesser than uh, mu no so this is uh, one effect uh, which can be uh, seen in the uh, sub micron uh, devices
the uh, another uh, important effect is velocity saturation effect uh, what it is uh, we initially uh, assumed as we keep increasing the electric field the velocity of the uh, electrons will keep increasing right uh, but it, that is not the case the velocity of the electrons in the channel uh, is limited to uh, 8 into 10 to the power of 6 centimeter per uh, centimeter per second okay and uh, holes uh, 6 into 10 to the power of 6 okay beyond this the velocity cannot increase <coughs> excuse me they are the uh, physical uh, limitations okay so uh, that is known as v sat okay now so hence the velocity uh, 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 which we saw initially in, in our earlier derivation it was mu n e c uh, uh, mu n e now that equation gets uh, modified uh, as uh, mu n 1 plus e by e c okay uh, that means this uh, velocity is uh, 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 e c where e c if you uh, if you put when e is equal to e c okay this becomes e c this becomes e c so uh, uh, e c e sat is 2 v sat by mu okay so this is the uh, e sat value you obtain by uh, 2 v sat by mu okay so you find that the velocity is getting uh, saturated so if you see here uh, initially if uh, this were the this was the curve uh, for our in initial uh, uh, assumption that the velocity will keep increasing and now what happens is the velocity slowly comes here and it gets saturated okay so uh, this uh, results in uh, reduced current levels than what it would have been without a velocity saturation so you find uh, the velocity equation gets uh, modified uh, here right so if you see if i uh, uh, compare it with a uh, mu now the mu gets uh, modified by velocity was mu into e now it is uh, mu n e divided by 1 plus uh, e by e c so the now the new mu is mu n divided by 1 plus e by e c okay so the new mu here uh, for short channel devices is mu n divided by 1 plus e by e c uh, this is there in the uh, initial for the long channel also v is equal to mu mu n e right so here the mu has got modified by 1 plus e by uh, e c okay so if you see here the linear region uh, now if you see here the mu has been substituted by 1 plus v d s divided by uh, e uh, the, this equation right uh, e is written as v d s divided by l here so this is the new equation so this one uh, this reduces the uh, total current which is uh, available to us uh, similarly uh, for an in the saturation region also you have this uh, uh, ds is uh, written as an uh, gs minus vt for saturation so this becomes vgs minus vt okay now you will find uh, one more thing and uh, parameter has been uh, introduced here m uh, that is because uh, initially uh, we assumed that it's an uh, two dimensional uh, uh, device and we uh, if you uh, remember that derivation where uh, we thought we assume that it is going to be a uh, perfect uh, triposium with the channel uh, linearly moving from the source to the drain okay so that may not be the case so they, they could be uh, that will not be the case here it will not be a perfect trapezium so this m again this is also uh, found out empirically through experiment we fit in this value here okay m so for velocity these are the velocity uh, saturation effects so the currents if i uh, uh, for a vlsi engineer i'll say this is the net result this is for a long channel so the currents will be uh, lower for an uh, short channel devices so uh, this this uh, this <coughs> excuse me uh, for the same w by l ratios okay so uh, why this is gone low that is because of the uh, degradation in the uh, mobility so and and the velocity saturation issues okay so this is how the currents will be lesser than what would, would have been in the uh, long channel devices okay uh, now the uh, third effect is known as uh, channel length uh, modulation right so uh, we assumed uh, when the vds reaches uh, no, vov right and then uh, this this 
channel get, gets pinched out but uh, what happens after uh, further if you keep increasing vdd so this pinch off will start uh, moving towards the source and in effect it will change the uh, total uh, length of the channel okay it, it is like here it will be depletion region but then the electrons will be uh, that that extra voltage whatever you give uh, after uh, vds after, uh, over and above vov okay uh, that will create an electric field so electrons will be pulled from here to here through this depletion region but the net channel length is reduced out here so that is known as a channel length modulation so for an, a short channel uh, for a long channel it doesn't really make much a difference if, if it is just making uh, one percent uh, change out here but for a short channel uh, this becomes a uh, huge so you will you will find here so uh, instead of getting saturated uh, because if you see uh, l is in the denominator right now if you see here in this region uh, because if you further increase vdd uh, the effective length decreases okay effective le length decreases if the, uh, then in this equation you know when we saw uh, l was coming in the de denominator right so now this l is uh, actually decreasing here so that is why the current will keep uh, increasing here <coughs> So for a, a long channel device, it doesn't make really much difference. But for a uh, short channel device, this becomes very, very uh, significant. So this curve, instead of getting uh, saturated horizontally, uh, you will find that this will uh, start increasing here. So this is known as a channel length uh, modulation. And uh, uh, so uh, instead of modifying this uh, L out here, uh, what we have is a 1 plus lambda VDS. Okay, so this lambda uh, represents the uh, channel length modulation, right? So now uh, if you see this lambda is inversely proportional to the length. If you use large length, lambda will be very low. So for in a large channel effect, this mod modulation will become uh, 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 insignificant, right? So for a short channel, uh, now in the short channel devices, as you can see in this graph, okay, this will be a more pronounced, the uh, change in ID. Uh, with respect to VDS in saturation region. So, when you do 45 nanometer or 7 nanometer, you will find uh, uh, this, this is like this, okay, this curves. Whereas, if you do a simulation for uh, 180 nanometer, so you will find uh, 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 this is more or less uh, constant like this, okay. So, that is known as. Now, uh, the value of an, uh, uh, lambda uh, can be found out uh, graphically also. So, when you have these uh, uh, curves, uh, VGS, uh, 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 the uh, output characteristic curves if you uh, extrapolate these lines they will go and uh, meet at a point which is known as the early voltage and lambda is inverse of that uh, early voltage okay and and r0 this we generally uh, use it for uh, in 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 your analog design uh, r0 it is a uh, 1 by lambda id mm, that is the uh, R0 is nothing but uh, for a small decremental change of VDS, uh, what is the uh, change in uh, ID? So, you see there is a uh, trade-off here. So, uh, you have to uh, bias these transistors with uh, higher ID uh, to get an, uh, 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 smaller uh, RO or small ID uh, for uh, greater uh, R0, right? But if you uh, put an uh, ID small, your uh, gain in analog circuits uh, suffers. So, that is a, a, a trade off that probably you will uh, learn it in your analog VLSI classes. Okay. So, uh, lambda is within uh, uh, in the designer's uh, hand. Uh, we can use large length transistors uh, to minimize the effect of uh, lambda on our. So, if you uh, even if it is a 45 nanometer technology. Uh, 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 devices which we are using. If I uh, use a large length there, wherever I uh, do, uh, need to have this as a constant uh, signal, uh, and, uh, slope to be you know, almost uh, uh, parallel to VDS, then I can use large lambda. Okay. So, uh, but th this is not really uh, effect uh, going to affect my uh, uh, digital circuit application. So, it's only in analog circuits where this R zero determines the has an uh, got an effect on the gain. So, in digital circuits, and I will uh, time being neglect the effect of uh, lambda out here. Right? Um, and this is uh, another thing, uh, subthreshold conduction. Uh, so, if you see, uh, this is in the log scale. Okay, uh, That is why it is not going like this. It is going like this because this scale is in the uh, log scale. For short channel devices, uh, 
uh, with uh, as we keep in decreasing the uh, vt now the id equation is uh, modified like this okay now this again you will learn in detail in your pmmt course so if you see id is given by uh, is into uh, e to the power of this now if you put v vgs is equal to 0 also you will find uh, id is there okay so that is the uh, leakage current here so that is that uh, big problem these days so for the uh, short channel devices that their leakage current is uh, high uh, and also the switching does not uh, happen abruptly ok so uh, if you keep going like this here so you will find that uh, for every uh, uh, decade ok uh, so uh, uh, so it is known as sub threshold uh, uh, slope uh, i have a defined it here no ok sub threshold uh, slope is the uh, amount of id change for every decade uh, change of v vgs and for uh, these uh, for a mosfet devices it can be up to uh, 60 millivolt per decade uh, the, that means for a decade change in current here 60 millivolt will be uh, consumed so from vt also as you keep going uh, no uh, like like it is 0.5 volt if i go to uh, uh, one decade if i come down this uh, current will be uh, uh, 1 millivolt if i come here so uh, 60 for every 60 millivolt uh, difference one decade of uh, uh, current one decade means 10 to the power of an, a minus 1 that much current will fall so you will find there is an a slope here so it is not acts like an ideal uh, switch so this this also uh, creates you know, issues in the uh, digital uh, switching. So, these are some of the problems which are uh, linked with the uh, short channel uh, devices. Okay. Uh, so, now that finally, we have something known as uh, hot carriers, uh, which is like uh, uh, when we have electric field, high electric field can cause some electrons uh, to come from the channel region, it can get trapped into the oxide. So, because of the uh, potential which is applied across the uh, gate, so electrons from the channel can punch through the uh, oxide layer and they will uh, they will get trapped in the oxide. Okay, Once they get trapped there, it will uh, permanently change the Vt of the transistors. Like, so, uh, when we uh, saw the equation of Vt, uh, in the last class we saw that there was uh, something known as oxide charges right so those uh, these uh, hot uh, carriers also they get trapped in the <coughs> oxide layer and they uh, degrade the uh, uh, vd so these also are some of the uh, problems associated with the uh, short channels okay so uh, with that we'll uh, end uh, today's uh, class in the uh,